This is a bevel gear coupler. Its primary advantage is to reverse the direction of rotation from one shaft to another. You'll notice there are three bevel gears being used in this model. We would have included a fourth bevel gear and still retained its rotation reversing capability. However, by using only three bevel gears, we're able to use this coupling over a wide range of dynamic angular misalignment. This is not a constant velocity design. Here's the final result. Everything here is 3D printed with the exception of the hot glue used to hold the shafts in place. I've added these little brown tabs so that it's more easy to visualize the rotational direction. Everything here runs pretty smoothly. You can spin the gears and move the angular misalignment portion freely by hand. Running it by drill also yields smooth results. You can see as the drill runs at a constant RPM, we can dynamically alter the angular misalignment. This is not a constant velocity design, however, and here's a little example of how that works. If I lock one of the shafts up, the other shaft will rotate as we go through a dynamic range of angular misalignment. Here's a slow motion view of static angular misalignment, and both shafts run at the same velocity. However, when we apply dynamic angular misalignment while the gear is running at a constant velocity you can see the gear slow down and speed up here's a really dramatic example here it speeds up in this direction and comes to almost a complete stop in the other direction speeding up slowing down so this is not a constant velocity design and this is what that means this is in in practice what that means so is this a practical print or not? The answer is, yeah, this is very practical and it came out great. I've been inspired to learn more about mechanical design by retired mechanical engineer and YouTuber Thang010146. His YouTube channel has over 3,000 mechanical animations that he created himself and he's constantly creating new ones almost daily. I've been a fan for a while now and I would like to challenge myself to recreate some of his designs and 3D print them to see how well they function out of a printer. He's a genius, you gotta check him out if you're interested.